All right, going to show you another Catholic Church doctrine of devils, and this one is that Jesus Christ had to burn in hell to pay for our sins. This is a just totally satanic doctrine. Yes, it is satanic. Uh, I'll explain why in a minute. But this is what the Catholic Church Catechism says about Jesus Christ having to go to hell to pay for our sins. This is paragraph number 632 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. It says, The frequent New Testament affirmations that Jesus Christ was, quote, raised from the dead, unquote, presuppose that the crucified one sojourned to, in the realm of the dead prior to his resurrection. This was the first meaning given to the in the apostolic preaching to Christ's descent into hell, that Jesus, like all men, experienced death and in his soul joined the others in the realm of the dead, but he descended there as Savior, proclaiming the good news to the spirits in prison there. So he is dead there in the realm of the dead, which is hell. Okay. Now, it is worth po pointing out that the Catholic Church Catechism does say that you know Jesus Christ went to Abraham's bosom in paragraph number 633, but they're still saying he went to hell and was with the people, the dead people in hell, in the realm of the dead. In other words, Jesus Christ had to burn in hell to pay for our sins. That is essentially what they're saying. Now, the Bible does teach that Jesus Christ went to this chamber under the earth. However, he went to Abraham's bosom. He didn't go to hell and burn there for a while. He didn't go to hell and was there for three days and three nights. No, he went to the realm of the dead, the realm of the dead basically, and he went to Abraham's bosom. He didn't go to the burning side of hell. It's that simple. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 8 to 10. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now he, now that he, now that he ascended, uh, what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same that also ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fulfill, he might fill all things. So he did go down into the lower parts of the earth to this chamber under the earth in the underworld. However, he led captivity captive. He went to Abraham's bosom. He didn't go to the realm of the dead, hell. It's that simple. First Peter chapter three verses eighteen to twenty. For Christ hath also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us unto might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which were sometime disobedient, which sometime were disobedient, uh, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was preparing, wherein a few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. Okay, Abraham's bosom is where the Old Testament saints went prior to the crucifixion. First Kings chapter 11, verse 43, and many, many other scriptures in the book of Kings and the book of Chronicles, the two books of Kings, two books of Chronicles, talk about uh, Old Testament king dying and sleeping with his fathers because he's down in Abraham's bosom sleeping. They could not get into heaven before the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church Catechism acknowledges this in paragraph 633 but they teach that this happened after Jesus Christ went into the realm of the dead and was basically there for a while. Isaiah chapter 42 verses 6 to 7 I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and will give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. So again, it's a prophecy about Jesus Christ going down into Abraham's bosom and gathering up the Old Testament saints. Psalms 68 verse 18. Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive, thou hast received gifts for men, yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Okay, another prophecy about Jesus going down into Abraham's bosom and leading captivity captive. He didn't go to the realm of the dead, hell, and burn there to pay for sins. Now the strongest proof that Jesus Christ didn't burn in hell is the fact that the fruits, the first fruits can't be burned. Leviticus chapter 2 verses 12 to 14.
As for the ob oblation of the first fruits, uh, ye shall offer them unto the Lord, but they shall not be burnt on the altar for a sweet savour. Uh, and every oblation of thy meat offering, thou sh shalt thou season with salt, neither shalt thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meat offering. With all thine offerings thou shalt offer salt. And if thou offer a meat offering of thy first fruits unto the Lord, thou shalt offer for the meat offering of thy first fruits green uh, green ears of corn dried by fire by the fire, even corn beaten out of the full ears. So the first fruits cannot be burnt. They shall not be burnt on the altar of the sweet Savior. The first fruits can't be burnt. Well, turn to First Corinthians chapter fifteen verses twenty to twenty two. Who are the first fruits? But now is Christ risen from the dead, and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, and by man by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam shall all die, uh, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Christ is the first fruits. And Leviticus two verse twelve to fourteen says the first fruits can't be burned. It's that simple. Jesus Christ did not burn in hell to pay for sins. He is the first fruits and they can't be burned. He went down into the chain, this, this underworld, this chamber, and he went to Abraham's bosom and led captivity captive. He gathered up the Old Testament saints. He didn't go to hell and burn. When it says that, you know, in Psalm 1610, Thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither suffer thine holy one to see corruption, paraphrasing, of course, uh, it's referring to the, Abraham's bosom. He didn't. He is not in hell burning. That, that's not taught anywhere in scripture. That's a pagan uh, it's a very pagan doctrine because Roman Catholicism is just pagan. And Jesus Christ in John 19.30 said it is finished. It was done on the cross. It's that simple. It's not this continual he had to burn in hell. And and then even still, the Catholic Church teaches that the, the Christians, you know, Christians, Catholics obviously, who don't uh, basically live this, this holy life will have to go to purgatory and burn there for a while too. So basically Jesus Christ didn't even, even going to hell did not cleanse you of all sins because you still have to go to purgatory. It's ridiculous. Roman Catholicism is a satanic cult. It is not Bible-believing Christianity. Roman Catholicism is uh, Greco-Roman uh, Hellenistic heathenism repackaged. That's all it is. It's just Christianized Greek-Roman paganism. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. This idea that Jesus Christ went to the realm of the dead, hell, and burned there to pay for sins, and even still you still have to go to purgatory to burn off the rest of your sins, it's a wicked, satanic, false doctrine. And there's no nice way to put it. It's satanic. So do, and don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.